Hi, this is Bajumax. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple uh, multi-threaded -thread uh, WPF uh, Windows app. So let's begin. I have added here a um, window one. Um, it's a WPF uh, Windows app and I placed a text box and a show button. Now we'll write something on the uh, show button click. Uh, let's say uh, I have to compute some results and then update the uh, text box with that computed value. So we'll write that function here private void compute don't want to make it as a complex so just simple calculation uh, result 10 multiplied by 10 and I'm going to update the text box with my results results to string and I will call the same function from my button click event let's remove this okay let's run this program here is our window just click show 100 so we got the result as expected now suppose uh, we have a uh, scenario where our compute function takes uh, some uh, time to do the calculation or it takes a bit of a uh, while to com um, compute the uh, result let's mock that situation and see uh, what's happened I'm just uh, going to add a thread dot sleep and uh, we'll wait for 20 seconds let's run this application you can see my window is not responding anymore because the um, my program is executing the thread dot sleep so I had to wait for 20 seconds to finish this uh, particular operation this is situation uh, we often come uh, across with uh, our real-time uh, uh, application so how do we actually override the or overcome this situation by simply introducing a thread and ask the thread to compute uh, call the compute method and uh, do the uh, necessary uh, stuffs from there so let's introduce uh, a thread here and I will use my compute method as a thread start delegate And I'm going to tell the thread that start on the button click. Let's execute this program. Okay. Now you can see the window is responsive to my most more events. Can move it anywhere so that you guys see now we got an another problem another exception unhandled exception saying that the call calling thread cannot access this object because the different thread owns it on the statement where we actually setting the uh, uh, text box dot text uh, is equal to our result this is because uh, we cannot unfortunately we cannot update any UI controls from a thread that doesn't owns the control in our case uh, this text box is owned by the main GUI thread and we are trying to update the uh, text box uh, text value from another thread which is created here so how do we actually override this uh, problem so he here comes the dispatcher object so in uh, WPF world all the every visual element inherits from the uh, dispatcher object and the object is what allows you to get hold of the uh, UI threads dispatcher so any time you update a visual the work is sent through the uh, um, dispatcher to the UI thread uh, let's write like I mentioned uh, all the uh, UI, visual UI elements inherits from the dispatcher so there is a dispatcher object associated with this uh, text box uh, txt value or text box with our text box and I'm going to call the invoke method on that 
text box and I have to pass a delegate so I will use new action and uh, nothing goes in I'm using a bit of lambda expressions here to make it uh, simple and readable text box dot uh, text equal to I'll set my result and also I can give the priority of the uh, executing uh, thread so I'll use uh, dispatcher priority uh, as a normal and the parameters in our case uh, it's null let's correct the syntax here Now let's execute this program. My window is responding and I have to wait for 20 seconds to finish the application. Finish the compute uh, function. You can see the result is here. So we have fixed that issue of accessing a uh, control from another thread. <coughs> now I'm going to, uh, uh, now this is a tedious process. I have to, every time I have to uh, use the dispatcher dot invoke. So I will, I want to use some generic pattern for all the controls to update, uh, to update in a thread safe manner. So I have wrote, uh, written a small extension method here. So I just um, name it my class as control extension and uh, uh, it's an extension method up to update control safe and uh, one of the parameters is this control. So all the uh, UI elements which is uh, uh, inherits in uh, inherits the control will have this uh, up to update control safe uh, extension method. Let's replace this with uh, that update uh, control safe. I can remove all these things. We will accept the default values. And one more place is extra. Wait. Don't have to put this one here. There's problem with the razors. New action to stream. I have to place it here. Okay, let's run this program. You can see my window is actually uh, responding to my mouse move events. Okay, I got the results. So same thing. Since I have returned in a generic fashion, this update safe is also available for other controls. Say for example, my button is BTN, I believe btn show button and the update okay you can see control safe so you can also update the uh, button from this thread in a safe uh, thread safe manner okay that's all for this uh, screencast i will copy paste this uh, particular extension uh, method in my blog you can go and check it thanks thanks for uh, listening uh, bye hope you uh, catch you later